Hey folks, this is Brent Easton with Easton Farms. On today's video, I'd like to go over the solar powered fence charger that I built. Anybody that's interested in building a solar powered fencer of their own, this might be of some help. Uh, to start out with, I just used a average run of the mill garden type cart. And I I think I bought that from Orschlands Farm and Home and TSC, there's all over Amazon, stuff like that. Um, I added the flat proof tires and wheels to this one. I think most of them come that way now. You don't want to be fighting flat tires on one of those things, so I'd look until I found one that already had it on there. Uh, the solar panel. I just bought a cheap, kind of a cheapy generic kit from Amazon. I think that thing was like 140 or 50 bucks. Came with a charge controller. Just a typical galvanized ground rod. And then to enclose the cart, I used um, Advantec sheeting, which is a subfloor sheeting. It's Got a weather guarantee for full exposure for like 500 days, uncoated, and then I painted it on top of that so I wouldn't have any problems. And then I built an elevated platform for the solar panel so that I could change the angle if needed. That doesn't seem to be very important. Um, I mean, this one has worked perfect. I didn't have to adjust it. I think it would probably work flat ways if need be, so I probably spent way more time on that than would have needed to. So I'll open this up here, and then I just hinged the lid and rigged it with the straps so that it would stay open without flopping over and damaging the solar panel. And then inside, I've got a Stafix 6 Jewel charger, and that one has a remote which are they're super nice you can power them on or off from anywhere in the fence line just touch the controller to the fence and do what you need to and then that's the charge controller that came with the solar panel nothing groundbreaking there and then for batteries I just used two big 12 volt pickup type batteries or truck batteries they're not deep cycle, they're just standard average run of the mill automotive batteries. It's my understanding and conclusion that as long as you oversize your system to the extent that you're, you're not really drawing your batteries down, the solar panel is maintaining charge in your batteries such that you're not really going through multiple discharge recharge cycle so the batteries are basically always staying fully charged and I've had this hooked to eight and nine hundred and sixty four foot long pieces of Premier One sheep netting and it ran those just fine on continuous duty and I've had it hooked into five quarter mile rolls of poly uh, on reels and the sixth one was a half mile mega reel from Gallagher and it ran all those just fine and I built this in middle of August 2019 and deployed it and put it into use right there at the end of August and it ran sheep netting continuously through the rest of 2019 that winter through 2020 and into the fall of 2020 and then I changed over to from the netting to just a single poly braid strand for the sheep so it ran all that time span without having any problems whatsoever and it's still on the original set of batteries and the original solar panel the original fencer so you can see there that the batteries are still full charge
fencer still works perfect. I've got it clipped onto itself, so it's probably not a good idea to do that, but it doesn't seem to hurt anything as long as you're not touching it. <laughs> and I just used regular like automotive style flexible wire, red for power, black for ground. The instructions for the solar panel system kind of sucked, but they're not overly complicated. The charge controller basically shows you with pictures <laughs> what needs hooked where, so it really couldn't be too much simpler. And I just got a alligator clip for the for the hook in. Pretty simple. The only thing is I'd add is the way that I built that, it's just a little bit top heavy. And if you got too crazy with it, you could probably turn it over. I pull it with the Ranger. And the tongues on those flip around where you can either pull them with a pull handle or hook them into a receiver hitch. And I've not turned that one over. As long as you had it hooked solid, it'd be pretty hard to do, but I suppose you could twist the hitch and turn it over. It would be a little bit better if it wasn't quite so tall or if you had a wider cart platform to build it on. But yeah, there we go. Anybody that's wanting to build them a solar powered charger, the ones that are on the market when I started looking for one are pretty grossly underpowered. Um, I think about two joules was the highest joule one that I could find. And I don't think it had a remote on it. So I knew that probably wasn't gonna be very effective for the sheep netting. And uh, I didn't trust the descriptions on <laughs> what, was, what was with the charger. So uh, I looked around on the internet and found the few kind of okay -ish videos on how to build your own and it seemed pretty simple and it was even simpler than it looked so no problems and just about as simple and reliable as could be now, I don't have any power here on this part of the ranch there's no electricity as far as I know there's never been a meter anywhere and obviously I wasn't going to try to ask the neighbors to hook into theirs so they only left basically one option and that was complete solar power so it needed to be simple solid and reliable and so far that has been and running a year and a half close to two years now on all the same original components and still going strong and no problems I don't know how you could really beat that I've heard people having problems with the ready-made ones, uh, having to take them apart and fix them and this, that, and the other, and, and uh, stay fix and speed right. I presume that they've got a warranty on their chargers. That's about the only thing that could be too complicated to give you a problem that'd be serviceable. Cheap solar panels, I haven't had any problems with those so far and probably my feeling is that if you get one that doesn't work you know that might be a fairly likely I don't know but I've ordered three because I've got another solar powered charger down here that runs the main perimeter fence and I've got two panels on it and it's an 18 joule charger and I didn't have any problems with that panel either and it was kind of the same deal or that set of panels. It was a kit of two. So, I mean, I'm three for three in solar panels and they've all lasted at least a year so far. So I wouldn't be afraid, afraid of them. Just check reviews and stuff if you buy them off Amazon. And other than that, that's about all I can say. So I'm going to leave this off here. I'll talk to you all later. Everybody take care. Bye.